Good morning, guys, and welcome to day 40. Now, today we have training slash travel day. We have our main session today. It's going to be a center wicket practice, which is awesome. So we get to play on the hybrid once again. Um, I'm about to do my COVID test and then take my suitcase downstairs. Um, we have a team meeting at 10 o'clock first. Um, but no, let's get stuck into this COVID test. Like I said, today is day 40. Um, I can't believe how long we've actually been here. So today it is the 19th and we leave here on the 23rd. So we've only got four days to go. So our hundred journey is coming to an end, but I can't tell you how much I've actually enjoyed this tournament and loved being here in the UK and playing more cricket and meeting new people. And it's been incredible. And I'm actually pretty sad that it's going to end soon. So yeah. But, oh well, it is what it is. Hopefully the next year. It still, baff it still baffles me how I wasn't even supposed to be here. I wasn't even picked in the first draft. And then all of a sudden I'm here and I'm, you know, making such a, making such an impact. Um, you know, it's incredible. Um, you know, I know COVID and, you know, <sighs> COVID make it, makes it tough for everyone and, you know, I'm very fortunate and grateful for the opportunity that I've been given. But, um, yeah, I've, I feel like I've taken it with both hands and sort of put my name forward for next year, fingers across. But, um, yeah, I think, if anything, I'm trying to finish this 100 competition on a high and hopefully on the 21st we can do something special at Lord's. So, yeah, all right, I'm going to head downstairs to breakfast, take my suitcase down to the team room because we actually got to check out. So I'm going to go do that. Um, and yeah, see you soon. See you at breakfast. One last look at this amazing view. Now you've got everything packed. Got my suitcase, got my mask on. Let's head down to reception, check out, and head to breakfast. Bags dropped off now to check out. <laughs> if I wanted to. Suitcase, so I've got to go pick up my other striker stuff and then take it to the bus. How many bags have you got then? Alright, last bag oh, and done. then heading on the bus. Oh, so much stuff. <laughs>
<sighs> finally made it. About to find my room. <laughs> Alrighty, we finally landed. Well, arrived to London. Um, I don't know why, but we went through. We went straight through central London, and it literally took us an hour to move about fifty to one hundred meters. So it was great. It was great. Uh, but no, we're here now at the hotel. Um, as you can see. <laughs> um, yeah, we haven't really got anything planned for the rest of the day. Obviously, we had training um, in the morning and now here. The time is currently 5.01, so I think I'm going to sit back, order some Wagon Mamas and watch some TV. I'm going to connect YouTube on the TV once again, which is awesome. So this is an amazing hotel. So like... Uh, can't remember if you I can't remember if you guys remember but we have this spacious really nice looking hotel we've got a balcony view as well um really nice area over there as well um as you can see I got my strikers kit bag here I had to bring all my luggage here because obviously I do stay here in London um for a day after the final and then the next day I head off back to Australia I can't believe it's come come close to an end really already um it yeah it blows my mind that it's been so long I felt at the start it was going so slow but now all of a sudden it's just come to an end I guess um which is really sad to think uh I've made so many good friendships here and I think um yeah I've absolutely loved my time and I'm hoping I've put my hat in um uh like a bucket of people for next year and hopefully Next year I can actually be contracted um, as one of the first few overseas players rather than being a replacement player. So that'll be really nice. But I feel like I've done all the right things to do so, fingers across. But um, no, I'm going to sit back, relax and watch some TV. Oh, and another thing, this hotel is going to be carnage because the whole six teams are staying in this hotel. So it's going to be carnage. There's going to be people everywhere. It, uh, the men and women teams are staying here. So carnage, absolutely carnage. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I'm back in my room uh, from the team room. Um, I'm still trying to set up my uh, iPad to kind of connect to the um, actual TV. As we can see, it's still loading there. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, I don't know why it's not working. But um, uh, yeah, I, it's a little bit frustrating me. Um, it looks like it's loading, but it's not really loading itself. So I don't really know what to do because we see we've got my iPad here, and we can see it up there. But um, if I go to like. YouTube or something like that. It doesn't really work. Let's see. Connected. Something went wrong. Tap. No, something's gone wrong. I don't know what's gone wrong. I don't know. I might have to not worry about that. But, um, and then unconnect it and watch it from my iPad itself. But, um, yeah, so tomorrow morning I've <clears throat> I've got a interview at 8am on the radio, which is going to be fun. I'm going to be tired in the morning. But then after that, we have training at Lords from 9.30 to 1 o'clock. And then later on in the night, I'll be catching up with some of the Burning Phoenix girls. Um, I Tomorrow, Birmingham Phoenix play against the... Um, the Oval Invincible, so that will be a really good game. I don't really know who I want to win. Ideally, I would like to play against Ovals, but Birmingham Phoenix are on a winning streak, so I don't really know. Um, but they are without Shivali, Shivali Burma, so I think it will be a really close game. But, um, yeah, fingers crossed all the people that I know do well, but there can only be one winner, and may the best team that turn up win. Um, and then, yeah, we play the game the next day so really exciting times and oh I can't believe it's so close to ending already and once again it's been such an incredible journey slash tournament it's been incredible I've absolutely loved my time here especially with the Southern Brave girls and with Lottie as coach it's been fantastic and 
like I keep saying, I, I hope, I hope this has put me in really good stead for next year and hopefully my name, uh, my name is in a bucket for next year, but, um, yeah, so I think I'm done for the day. I think I'm going to rest up because it is 10.30, um, so it's going to be early morning for me, um, so I'll see you guys tomorrow, um, so once again, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Please leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.